Hi Scorpio, welcome to your special retrograde forecast for singles. And I will be recording another batch or another um, forecast for couples and for the careers and finances in general, okay? Please take note that this is also a general reading and it doesn't really apply to all, alright? Now let's take a look, Scorpio, how will you find love? Scorpio, thinking about somebody that is far from you, who betrayed you. <laughs> Which is a younger fire sign. Okay, let's put this here. Okay. Oh, it looks like you're also relocating. Anyway, you know, you're not yet over the past, and you're not yet over this fire sign who had betrayed you. And I feel like at this point, it's time for you to, you know, start moving on and start working on your self healing and forgiving. You're still thinking about this person constantly and you're thinking that if you should move, maybe that there will be a change of aura or there will be a change of ambiance and uh, you will somehow start forgetting about this person because for you, even if it already happened like 10 weeks, 10 months or 10 years ago, the wounds are still fresh, okay? And you are already looking for a brand new beginning. You want to break free from the spell or break free from the, um, from the heartbreak that you just can't simply move on from you're still thinking about this person who's younger than you and i feel like this person is still trying or still thinking of asking for another chance but and there will be a transition however you know don't just accept somebody just because that they've already said sorry or already apologized to you you have to know and read the signs if this person is still worthy of the second chance or if this person is still worthy of your um, forgiveness. Oh, you know. And they've already betrayed you in the past. And um, it seems like they've either impregnated somebody or they have cheated on you with someone. Okay. And um, in the month of September, the two of you will be touching base. You will still be listening to this person's empty promises and uh, you know their false statements about what happened to them and what happened right after you broke up and uh, why did it happen something like that all of those things that this person would be claiming are just like bs all right now talk about having a, a brand new love or it's looking for a new love that's going to be coming your way well there will be but this is also another younger air sign which just i feel like it's not really going to be staying that long in your life and this person will be walking away because you know somehow this person can sense that you're not yet ready to open up emotionally which is obviously you're not yet there you want to but you're not yet there all right until in the month of october that you will finally break free from that and you will just Try to force yourself to get over a very painful memory. And you will be meeting a uh, water sign, another water sign, through your friends, or through your friends' gathering, or through your friends' um, party or event, or like an invitation. But then somehow you will feel like, am I really ready? You know, you're going to have second thoughts again. You're going to have, like, you know, jitteries. And uh, you're going to try and exchange numbers and uh, information. There will be some communications that I can see. And your family will also like this person. But the question is already up to you. And I feel like you still need to work on yourself. You still need to work on your self-esteem. You still need to work on your fears, issues and you know your past plus i feel like there's also somebody at work who's also going to try and show you their affection or show you their interest so you're going to be glowing for the next few months you don't really have to worry about it 
But finding soulmate or the right one for you, I don't feel like you're gonna be finding that person this until the end of the year. Okay? The people that you're gonna be meeting are just an instrument or just gonna be tools for you to learn how to love again, open up, learn from your past mistakes, and, you know, go back into that safe path that even if you get hurt, I feel like it's already part of the process and it's already part of human nature, you know? And it's also part of the package that when you love, expect that there will also be more tears and miseries than happiness. And this is what you will be realizing, that you will learn how to be practical and not to give your all, okay? And I feel like you will be traveling until the end of the year. You will The first travel that you're going to be making or taking will be the next two days, two weeks, and two months, you know, most of the people that you will be meeting are younger than you. Just one same age or a little bit older than you, and then the rest will be younger than you. I don't feel like you will have um, enough luck or longevity with people who's younger than you. Because they lack maturity, they lack commitment and um, convictions. And they don't really, you know, honor their promises. They just keep on taking and taking from you. Because you're a very generous person with a big heart. And you're very open-minded that you're willing to adjust your life, yourself, your belief and faith. Just to make things work. Unfortunately, the people that you're trying to open up doesn't really deserve you altogether. Alright? So the right one for you is older than you. Lives in another city. But that soulmate of yours, you're going to be meeting that around the month of February under the fireworks all right so let's take a look at your let's take a look at your um careers and finances and by the way when i say fireworks in february there's still chinese new year all right so it could be that there will be a celebration near there or around there and that is where you're going to be meeting that person. I'm sensing or picking up that this person has a Hispanic, Asian background or Middle Eastern background. Something like that. Very conservative. And their name starts with letter M. All right. Well, Scorpio, looks like you are... There are a lot of office politics that's been going on around you. And it seems like you're always struggling to stay in that place. And you just want to pack your things and leave. Now, the month of October, there will be a brand, brand new opportunity that will be presented to you or that will be recommended to you by a person that you used to work with or a person that used to be your mentor. And this is an older fire sign, okay? Now, right before you resign, or right before you quit your job in the month of November, there will be one betrayal that a fire sign woman will be doing to you, and this person will be winning. But, you know, this is not actually an unfortunate thing, or more likely an unlucky situation, but this is just the way of universe pushing you to look into the, you know, the possibilities that they are trying to move you from, because you feel so comfortable to wherever you are just because that you are getting paid every month and you know this job of yours pays all of your bills but then there's still more to life there's still more to your skills and talent and you know to your knowledge and experience a company who deserves you is you and, and a company who deserves more of your effort all right so there will be an increase there will be an upgrade and there will be a leverage you just need to open up your eyes to the opportunities that will be presented to you by the universe using a person from your past who used to be your mentor or who used to be a co-worker that is senior than you or higher than you let's take a look at your life purpose Oracle cards, crystals, you need to be in touch with your earth side or earth element. 
you know you can um you can do counseling on this side and you're deemed to be a leadership type follow your heart's desires you're very close to animals you can also volunteer for an animal cause and uh, collect some crystals to be more in touch with your earth element side and uh, for you to ask for more guidance you are more apt to get answers through oracle card reader sorry to, through oracle card readers or through tarot cards all right you may also be a tarot card reader as well you have um you have a gift for this but please take note that there will also be some consequences for that all right so if you're looking for a for a career change or for the uh for like a side job counseling speaking on um, blogging as well and follow your heart's desires and if you're also very close to animals volunteer for an animal cause all right so anyway that's it for you for this time scorpio and if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net and thank you for sharing and um, watching my videos and subscribing to my channel thank you for following my page my twitter and my instagram all right blessings to you